What's going on YouTube? Rob A here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a set I am so excited about. Today we're looking at Creo Transformers Grimlock Unleashed. Uh, this is not quite an Age of Extinction uh, set. Uh, you'll see what's going on in just a minute. Uh, but this set has 333 pieces and retails for 25 bucks, uh, which is really not a bad deal at all. Uh, you get five Creons in this set, and uh, a little, they're a little bit on the weird side. First of all, you get a Generation 1 Grimlock, which is super cool. I love it. Um, you also get Optimus Prime, Movie Prime, of course. Uh, movie Bumblebee. Mm -hmm. Movie Galvatron. <laughs> And, uh, of course, Movie Lockdown. So, uh, kind of strange uh, in that regard. I guess they, they probably wanted to, you know, tie it into Age of Extinction a little bit, um, you know, as, as best they could, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, I'm so glad for this set. I, I've been more excited about this than I have any Creo set since probably the very beginning. Um I've wanted Grim Grimlock is my favorite Transformer of all time. Uh, I love the Creo build sets because, you know, they fit in very nice. Like, you know, I, I, I'm a, a Lego collector, um, and I've got my Lego City set up, and man, if this isn't going to look awesome, chilling, you know, stomping through my Lego City, I am so excited about this. Now, on the back, you can see... Some of the play features, uh, there really aren't any. Uh, you just, but Grimlock does come with a crown you can put on his head there, uh, as well as his sword. Uh, you get some various poses out of the guy. He's got, he's got no, he's got kind of flat teeth, which is kind of weird. I could probably, you know, make some different, just use some different pieces and get that, uh, get that fixed right up. Um, but yeah really cool i am super excited so i am going to just open this right up get it put together and i will see you guys when that's all set so see you in just a moment all right guys time for some grimlock unleashed and uh first we're going to check out the creons that you get in the set you do get five uh which is pretty good especially for a uh, 25 dollar price point set and uh, we're going to start over here with probably the least interesting of them, uh, which is, of course, Optimus Prime. Uh, but in this case, you get a, a nice new print for Prime. Uh, this may come in one of the other sets. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but uh, it is the Age of Extinction design print on his chest and legs and, to a lesser extent, his face. Here we go. Get a good look at that. It's very nice printing. Very busy. <laughs> a lot going on there. Um, and, oh, trying to take his helmet off. And trying to take his helmet off. There we go. All right. Uh, so there is his face. Uh, you may notice his, his arm is rather flopsy. Um, hmm. But there's his, uh, his face. As always, nothing on the back here. And we'll just put his little helmet back on. I'm wondering if this is uh, mold degradation that's going on here. But, uh, yeah. So there's Prime. You just put him right over there. You get a little Creo brick with him as well. Uh, next up, second most boring, is Bumblebee. Hello, Bumblebee. Uh, he's got a gun also. And, uh, again, it's his Age of Extinction... Uh, new body printing going on there uh, pretty interesting every movie they seem to be getting more wasp like unless be like <laughs> but it's all right uh, and you can take his helmet off and check out his head printing as well there you go some crayon action uh moving right along we've got lockdown here and uh He's got one of the newer guns going on here as well. I put it in sideways just just cause. <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, nice nice printing on the legs and torso. You can see the little Lamborghini symbols on his chest there. Uh, and he's got this interesting little printed visor that you can flip right up and see 
his face underneath. He's a very friendly looking face. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. So there's his face printing underneath the uh, helmet. Come on, bro. Let's focus up. Thank you. Um, yeah. So it reminds me a lot of, uh, you know, the cartoons, or the cartoon, I should say, uh, animated lockdown uh, in the face printing. I wonder if that was, you know, a purpose on purpose thing. But, yeah, there you go. Next up, we have Galvatron. And this is probably my favorite crayon out of this set, just because the printing on this guy is so nice. And just the color, the overall color, the dark silver and everything is just so nice looking on this guy. Um, and, and yeah, <laughs> I like his little arm accessories. Uh, and uh, yeah, very nice printing. And of course, the helmet does not want to come off independent of the head. So we're just going to go ahead and get our pliers. Hey, Hasbro, let's work on that, shall we? There we go. Let's get that going. So there is the face print. Angry, angry face. But very cool. Very cool overall. I really, really do dig this guy. A lot more than I, I think I dig this guy actually more than I dig his actual in on screen like <laughs> design. But yeah, so there is Galvatron. And then last but certainly not least, the reason a lot of people are actually buying this set is for this Generation 1 Grimlock Creon. Here we go, and it's kind of a bummer. I mean, it's it's really not. It's awesome. I love the printing. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, you get the sword. Um, you get the gold chest. What they even have, it's hard to see, but it's like they printed the clear over the details. So it's very, very nicely done. Um, again, you can't take the head off the helmet off without taking the head off um he's just got a side swipe helmet which is kind of i don't really meh but that's okay um there you go here is his unhelmeted head which i think actually looks better than with the helmet on so you do get that and it's hard to see, but there is actually blue. That's the only spot that blue is on this crayon. And I think it's crazy that they actually added that, like on the inside of the leg. You can barely even see it, but that's really, really neat. And then, of course, it comes with a crown, which, uh, prepare yourselves for this, guys. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Creo, you make some derpy-looking crowns, guys. That's, uh, yeah. <sighs> so there he is. There is your Grimlock Creon. And it's not really a disappointment. I shouldn't have said that or let down or whatever. But it's, uh, I don't know. Maybe an anti-climax. Not, not so much a disappointment as, okay, there it is. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, there's your Grimlock Creon. He's pretty cool. I like it. And he's got a derpy crown. eat cereal now <laughs> all right so on to the main uh bulk of this set and uh yeah here he is grimlock in creo brick form and uh he's pretty neat i i do like this figure or this set a lot uh, he is not without his problems, though. Uh, for starters, we'll just go go on. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll 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 just talk about him in general for now. Uh, here he is. He's very nice, very big, very chunky and bulky. His entire midsection is just solid bricks. 
Um, and then he's, he's got his tail going on. It's got all these ball joints in it. You can move it and, and all kinds of cool stuff, you know, swing it. His legs are, are ball jointed as well. His, his knees. He's got uh, wiggly toes. You can, you know, you can get those going. He's got smaller ball joints. They, uh, they, they made their own version of like the Mixels ball joints finally. And, or yeah, because they've been using these for, uh, whatchamacallits, I think, the uh, micro combiners. And uh, he's got those going on. He's got little claws that look kind of not great, but he's got those. Um, and uh, yeah, his neck is ball jointed. Mm hmm, mm hmm, and his head. And as you can see, these are just gray bricks. These are not black, like it kind of looked on the package. Um, and yeah, he's actually very, very cool. Uh, he's got a little Autobot symbol right here on his tummy. And you can, uh, you know, stand him up, get a classic Grimlock pose out of him. Like a so. Come on. There you go. Grimlock. And then you can stick your Prime next to him. And he's actually, I mean, they look, they look around the same height. Uh, Grimlock is way way more like <laughs> more solid and it's not coming quite across on the on the camera but he's he's just got so much more mass to him than this guy does uh but yeah you could even use you know the smaller optimus creo set but i like how this one looks in general um yeah so very very nice let me get this guy out of the way um on to the kind of little troubling bits about this set here. Uh, first of all, he's got no teeth. Um, and I think that's kind of sad. <laughs> uh, he can open his mouth to expose a bunch of little, little nubs. Um, also, I think I wish his lower he, like his head looks very shark like uh, just the way that it's it's built. Um, I do wish his lower jaw was a little bit longer, just to kind of fill that in. Uh, so I may take care of that myself easily enough. I may give him some teeth. I'm not sure. We'll see. There are the Mixel sets have these nice little teeth that just stick right on. Um, and also the biggest problem with this set is the excessive use of this silver plastic, which is awesome. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Uh, except... It doesn't have the same grip that the other, uh, that non-metallic bricks have. So you do end up, like, trying to put his legs onto his body. Uh, I ended up just, the whole thing just imploded in my hand when I was trying to press it on. Uh, you know, and then that happened a couple of times. Uh, just pieces want to just fly off because they just don't have the gripping power. Um, but I mean, other than that... And that's, you know, it's kind of a big deal. But obviously, you see, I'm handling it. It's not exploding in my hands. You just you just can't really play with it too, too hard. But, uh, yeah. Overall, a really nice set, especially for 25 bucks, which is a really nice price that they put it at. Uh, and I do appreciate that. It's really, really cool. I'm so happy to finally have a Grimlock uh, in my LEGO City. And it just needs a little touch-up here and there, and that's all. Um, but I think that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching, as always. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I've got more everything coming, so stay tuned for that. Uh, in the meantime, thanks again for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.